Here's how you can use formulas to create your own custom data types in Makaroo. Let's say we want to generate some data about users. We have a primary key, a first name, a last name, and an email address in a specific format, which is firstname.lastname at some domain. Using Makaroo, we can get pretty close to this with just the built-in data types. So we have a first name data type, a last name data type, and then also a built-in email address data type. And the email address data type in Makaroo automatically uses the first name and last name to derive the email address. We preview our data, we'll see that the email address is in the format of first initial dot last name, a number, and then a domain name. That's pretty good, but it's not exactly what we want. Remember, in our data, we wanted first name dot last name at the domain and no number. So how do we get that? Well, we can use one of the most powerful features of Makaroo called formulas to generate virtually any kind of data that we want. Formulas use Ruby syntax to do things like concatenate strings, to run mathematical equations. Um, you can also do if-else logic. Pretty much everything you can think of, you can do with a formula. So let's build our email address by concatenating first name and last name. So to concatenate strings in Ruby, we can use the template syntax, first name dot last name at, and then we're gonna need a, a domain value. So let's pluck that from Makaroo's built-in data types. So we'll create a field called domain and we'll use the domain name built-in data type. And in order to be able to use this field, it has to appear above the formula. Let's add it to our formula. If we preview this data, we'll see that it's pretty close to what we want. We have a first name and a last name and a domain in our email address, but we have capital letters for the first name and the last name. And in our desired data, we just have an all lowercase string. So how do we make this lowercase? Makaroo provides a bunch of helpful built-in functions from doing everything like doing date calculations, um, things like picking random numbers, string padding. We can also shift case. So we have a lower case function called lower that'll take a mixed case string and produce an all lower case string. So let's add that to our formula. Now you can see our email address is in the desired format. It's all lowercase, first name, last name, and domain. The only thing that we don't want is this extra domain field, which does not appear in our desired data. So let's remove it. Now, if we remove this field, we'll get an error in our formula because it needs to be there in order for our formula to compute the value of email address. So what we can do, this is very common with formulas, is just add two underscores to the beginning of the field that you want to hide and it'll automatically be hidden from the output. And just remember also add two underscores when you're accessing it in your formula. So now we see we have the data that's exactly like what we want. An all lowercase email address in the correct format and also no extra domain field. 